Patton Towers, about one year after a fire displaced residents for an entire month. Good evening and thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 530. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Residents there were forced to live in an emergency shelter while workers brought the century old building up to code. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin is live downtown outside Patton Towers with new information about the number of fire calls there in the last year. Jerry. The fire first happened at Patton Towers. Today we got our hands on city records which show a decline in and Patton Towers and fire calls here at Patton Towers. And today we dug deeper asking Mayor Andy Burke, um, you know, how he's holding the property managers here accountable. Everything is just coming, uh, uh, coming just like uh, uh, we wanted to before we left. David Elliott invited us inside of his Patton Towers apartment today. In the last year, Elliott says property owners are more open with residents and he appreciates the increased social services offered for those who live there. He's also very satisfied knowing that the fire calls at Patton Towers have decreased by nearly 40% in the last year. And Elliot has an idea why the calls were so high to begin with. A lot of people pull that alarm here off their medication to get tension to go to the hospital because nobody's coming in and visit them. There was a lot of that was going on for that reason. It's, it's much better having had, having had the fire department down here in a few weeks. The Chattanooga Fire Department says they've hosted a number of fire safety classes at Patton Towers. That, along with replacing faulty smoke detectors, they say have cut down on fire calls. Last year, Mayor Andy Burke was very vocal about the need to improve the conditions at the building. The quality of life has to continue to improve at Patton Towers. And today we sat down with Mayor Burke, who says the city has been holding property managers accountable. That's because of us working with them to make upgrades to the building so that, number one, we get less emergencies, and number two, uh, when those emergencies happen, we don't send the fire trucks out unless we need to. And while the fire calls are down, some residents are dealing with another problem, bed bugs. It be at the hems of your, your couches, and the hems of your bed and around your mattresses and stuff like that. And most of the stuff that's in the stores, it don't kill them. Yeah, back live now. Our calls today to Patton Towers owners have not been returned. Meanwhile, Mayor Burke says he's working with the owners to make sure the building is safe and livable for residents. For now, we're live in downtown Chattanooga outside Patton Towers. I'm Jerry Askin, News Channel 9.